Sons at Worth presents Seven Sons by Sunset. Your neighbour, an agent, Cam Worthington, just pop round. Oh, now it's going away again. Looking very shifty. I think I must have delivered something. Oh, he didn't let on at all. Very odd. <coughs> Excuse me, Mum. I'm just going to investigate. It's a letter, John Shuttleworth Esquire. It's a bit on, isn't it? It's on the Kenny Music Note paper. I'm published by Kenny Music, of course, as a songwriter. Kenny Music is the uh, publishing wing of Ken Worthington Enterprises. He says, Dear John, I am writing to inform you that as you have not yet met your minimum commitment of eight songs, having only delivered one to date, the haunting rock ballad Pigeons in Flight, hmm. Clause 1B of the agreement now comes into operation. The initial period will extend until sunset. Sunset? What? Can't be serious. What's the time? It's 10 o'clock. Sunset's about five. I've got seven hours in which to write seven songs. Can't be done. Can it? <laughs> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to have to, to leave it there because it's made me an ultimatum. But, uh, I don't think I can keep you. But I've got to. To remain with Kenny Music. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Yes, well, how much for a hundred cassette inlays? 18 quid? Whew, not paying that. I'll give you a tenner. All right. Um, on shiny paper, please. Yes. No, I've got the artwork here. Yes, it's <coughs> called Janet LaRoe. It's a nice bikini shot. With like a guitar on the neck and a cowboy's hat on. Yeah. Oh, it shouldn't do very well. It's called uh, Here We Go with Janet Laurel. Yeah. <coughs> I'll send it today, Brian. All right. Thanks a lot. Ta. -ra. Right, John. Sorry to keep you. Oh, it's quite all right, Ken. Mm. It's all happening for Janet Laurel, I see. It is. It is. Yeah. She just um, just completed three months at uh, Halifax. Yes. Playing uh, one of the Lost Boys in Peter Pan. Oh, mm. very nice. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, lovely, bubbly presents, which earned her several nice write-ups. Did it? Mm. It's ever since, really, you advised her to change her name. Oh, yes, from, from Rowbottom to the Row. That's right, yeah, yes. I remember that, yeah. Mm. In fact, I was uh, going to suggest that uh, you could perhaps do the same thing with your own surname, John. Oh. John the Shuttle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it doesn't quite have the same name, really. No. What can I do for you on this bright and sunny morning? Well, I it... must ask you to be brief because um, I've got an important call to make. <laughs> yes. To uh, this gentleman. Oh, who's this then? Good looking, isn't he? Sammy Martini, brilliant new actor. Oh, he is. He's, he's been in Panto. He's, he? he was uh, mm. Simple Simon in Little Red Riding Hood at Bogner Regis. He used to be an acrobat, but uh, he's seeking representation. Look. And I'm uh, quite tempted, I must say. Can. Yes. Have you come about your letter? Yes, I have. Mm. What's your problem? Seven songs by sunset. Are you serious? Certainly, sir. So soon. Sorry. <laughs> that was funny, yes. wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Lots of words beginning with S. There were. Hell of a lot. Said in sudden succession. <laughs> oh, done it again. <laughs> no, Ken, oh, my point is this. Oh. Excuse me, I'm going to have to take this, John. I'm sorry. Bobby, hello. Oh, yes, he, yes, he is, isn't it? He's working on it at the moment. He's got a lovely rap feel, yes. It'll do very nicely for Linda. All right. I'll see <coughs> you later. I've got a client with Depends me now. Of the agreement. Mm. All right, bye-bye, Bobby. Initial period will now extend until so. Ken, why are you so busy? What's happened? Don't you lock it? No. No, no I don't. Well, it's like <coughs> this, John. Mm -mm. Everybody has to sing for the supper. And that includes me. Yes, I realise that. And if you've dried up <coughs> creatively, mm. then it's not my problem. Maybe you should become a security guard again. Ken, 
Now, if you don't mind, I've got lots of work on. So would you kind of leave, please? Seven songs by sunset. Yes. Seven songs by sunset. And on an oxygen cassette, the bias must be high. But seven songs by sunset, it's the barrel overcome that. You've got me looking up at. All right, I'll have a try. Yes, that's my boy. Well, I haven't really got any choice, have I? Can't. Not really, no. Seven songs by sunset, seven songs by sunset. Has inspiration come yet? Hurry, the time is nigh. Seven songs by sunset, I'll deliver, don't fret. Seven songs by sunset will be a piece of pie. Will be a piece of pie. Oh, yes. Got to the paper, can I have yes. The pen. Yes, there you go. Thank you. Right, I'll uh, get started straight away. Good luck. Seven songs by sunset. It's a lot, isn't it? It is. Seven songs by sunset. It is well any capabilities, John. Seven, Seven songs, songs by sunset. sunset. What will happen if I fail? You'll be dropped. I won't. You will. From my rostrum you'll be struck. Another weekend. No, John, look. Seven songs by sunset. Seven songs by sunset. Come on now, off your bum get, and let those ideas fly. Seven songs by sunset. Then I'll give you a fat check. Oh, right. But if my demands are not met, yes. we'll have to say goodbye. We'll have to say goodbye. Yes, we'll have to say goodbye. But we'll still be friends, Ken. Oh, yes. yes. And neighbours. Oh, yes. It won't affect that, John. See ya. Yeah. It's all right. Bye. I returned home in high spirits, only to walk straight into a blazing row with my wife, Mary, for whom I had promised to do some DIY. But I was very firm and said no. <coughs> I'm sorry, Mary. Tomorrow, yes. But today, I'm doing my songs. And she didn't like that at all. But <coughs> can't be helped. I went into the kitchen, made myself a flask of coffee, got myself a packet of biscuits, and went into the dining room and basically locked myself in there. You see, Ken's right. You have got to sing for your supper. And I'd not been doing that. I'd been watching telly, uh, taking the dog for long walks and thinking, which is fine, but... It was time now to uh, get to work. At first, I just experimented with different instrumentation, you know, feeling my way back into my craft, playing with different chord structures. <coughs> um, and it was uh, useless, you know, it wasn't inspired at all. I could hear my wife outside with the hoover banging mm -hmm. on the door, you know, trying to get in. So I had to put the chair against the door. And then I suddenly remembered this incident from many years before, to do with the vacuum cleaner and Mary. And uh, I jotted down my thoughts on, on my pad, came up with a little melody, and by lunchtime, I had my first song. There was a time in the late 70s when I was out of work that uh, the Shuttleworth family experienced severe financial hardship. And one day my wife said, John, we need uh, a vacuum cleaner. I said, no, Mary, we can't afford it. It's a luxury item. And she left me. And uh, I went out into the street looking for her. I said, hey, have you seen my wife? I said, hey, hey, have you seen her? She left me after a row. It was over a vacuum cleaner. I said, what's wrong with the broom? And she said, something obscene. Oh, Mary, please come back and I'll buy you a vacuum cleaner. But she didn't come back. And she wasn't to the parents in uh, Ashton and Lyme. Didn't know where she was. <coughs> Had two young children to feed. It was a terrible time. I asked at the butchers, the bakers, <coughs> the laundrette. Nobody had seen her. Not a son. I went to a local radio station, put out a request. I said, hey, have you seen my wife? I said, hey, hey, have you seen her? She left me after a row, it was over a vacuum cleaner. I 
said, what's wrong with a broom? And she said, something obscene. Oh, Mary, please come back and I'll buy you a vacuum cleaner. Please come back, darling. <coughs> you know, you're right. Uh, a broom is not uh, adequate to clean up dog hairs and scraps of unwanted food. You know, we'll get to who. Hey, hey, have, have you seen my wife? I said, hey, hey, have you seen her? She left me after a row. It was over a vacuum cleaner. I said, what's wrong with a broom? And she said, something obscene. Oh, Mary, please come back and I'll buy you a vacuum cleaner. Well, I'm delighted to report that she did return <coughs> and I bought her a lovely second-hand cylinder model, which she still has to this day. Though now she's telling me she wants a new one. Yes, I do. Why? I do, John. Why, Mary? Hmm? Why not? Well, because hey? the one you've Why got not? functions perfectly. It does not function Come perfectly, on, it John. Does, Mary. It, it does, Mary. Does. Does. You tell him, Mary. No, you tell him. <laughs> no, that's excellent. Yeah. Nice. Mm, thank nice you. Nice idea. Works well. Oh. I think I'll send a copy of that to Russ Abbott. Mm. Right. right. <laughs> One down, six to go. Yes. What's next? Right, Ken. Well, next we have a song which I actually wrote uh, several years ago, mm. but uh, I abandoned it. Oh. Now, I co-wrote it with uh, a minicab driver called uh, Peter, who was uh, doing some drama lessons with me. What was that? And one night uh, he came round to my house and uh, he brought his guitar, mm. had a few cans of lager, oh. and got a bit merry. We wrote uh, this song. Called? The Christmas Orphan. It's Christmas time! Yes, indeed. Once again, the festive season is upon us with all the commercial razzmatazz that that entails. It's also a time for families to come together. Though, sadly, for some unlucky souls, this is not possible. The village school lies empty, all covered in snow. But on the steps a little boy sits, he's got nowhere to go. His parents were overcome by fumes when fire swept through their home. A Christmas orphan all alone. Christmas is a time for the family, but for an orphan, how can it be? You've got your presents around the Christmas tree. What's an orphan got? Just his memories. The little boy gets to his feet and why? the tears from his eyes then he sets off down the lonely street where are you mummy he cries he's so cold and hungry he wishes he was at home he doesn't know he's a christmas orphan all alone christmas is a time for the family but for the little boy how can it be you've got your presents around the christmas tree what's an orphan got just his memories the boy comes to a doorway sits down and falls asleep the wind is wild and angry the snow lies thick and deep Tenderly, wake up Christmas orphan and come with me. The angel took him by the hand and led him through the snowy skies. At last they came to the heavenly gates. Who is it? said Peter cries. It's me and a Christmas orphan. Please let him come inside So he can be with his parents at Christmas time Yes, Christmas is a time for the family And for the little boy 
That's how it's going to be. He walked in through those gates and saw his family. His mum and dad and God in all his majesty. La 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 la. What's an orphan God? He's got his family. Is it true, Joe? Oh, yes. Is it based on a local legend? Well, I read about it in the News of the World. Oh, what's this one, then? Right, well, this is Calypso bass. Yes. It's a fun track. Is it? Uh, slightly blue lyric, oh. I must say. Yeah. Oh. A little bit cheeky, a bit. Yes. Uh, well, it's got Alan the Opera Singer on backing vocals. Oh, lovely. I'm up and down like a bright nighty Up and down and I don't know why Happy and then I'm blue. Yes, I'm quite a stable person normally, but now and again I'm subject to violent mood swings. Like the time I, I just had my birthday, so I was feeling quite up. And I started doing some uh, DIY, fixing a porcelain splash bag in the bathroom. And I broke it, <coughs> so I had to buy another. And I broke that as well. And this happened several times. I was close to tears. You know, I had to go into the garden, it was terrible. I'm up and down like a bride's nighty. Up and down and I don't know why. Oh, I'm happy and then I'm blue. Yes, you know, I, I was extremely down, as I say. But then I suddenly saw a flock of Canada geese flying overhead. And I could hear, like, the flutter of the wings. And I found it very uplifting. And then I suddenly realised that they were, in effect, making a V sign to the world, you know, and the tash would do the same. And that increased my merriment. <clears throat> and I started doing, like, a jig on the patio, you know, being really silly. It was a wonderful feeling. I'm up and down like a bride's night day. Up and down, it's most unlike me. I'm happy and then I'm blue. I don't know why I feel so high, then suddenly go so low. I don't know what to do to stop my moods from swinging, from ecstatic to stinking and back. I'm up and down like a bride's nighty, up and down and I don't know why. I'm happy and then I'm blue. So blue. No, Alan. Up and down like a bright lighty. Up and down, it's most unlike me. Maybe it has happened to you. It probably has at some stage. Oh, that's lovely. You like that? That's lovely. Mm. I love that. Good. A little twist at the end. Yeah. Excellent. It's. Uh, I must say, John, you're. Uh, you're producing some good stuff. Well, you know, yes, maybe I work best under pressure. Alan's performance was excellent. It was. Mm. Right. Do you want to... Uh, this is... Uh, want to Malibu? No, I don't John. think you can. No. I want to get on with these songs. All right. Because the sun's almost behind that tree. That might be one. I want me check. Cool. <sighs> I open the shed door and forget what I came for. It can't be a deck chair. It's cloudy today. Was it the Brasso? Or the case for my Casio? Oh, it can't have been very important, you say. The Malaysian student next door is a true gent. He bids me good morning as he pegs out his jeans. I would like to speak more, but I have to leave, for my coffee awaits me, plus two gypsy creams. Just two. The three would be greedy. Sp 
spirit of daytime Oh, though sometimes I must say It can get terribly boring Alone with the day Alone with the day Alone with the day I spray the tomatoes, catch the end of the arches, I open some gloss paint and find it's gone hard. I hear the front door thud, the lunchtime post come, good, but what's that on the mat? Drat, a minicab car. In fact, it's several. Oh, don't recognise him. Somebody parked in a car across the street. I love the spirit of daytime, although sometimes I must say it gets a little bit boring alone with the day. Alone with the day. day alone with the day